They don't want you to know the root cause. Because if we figure out the root cause, think about it, pharma will lose billions of dollars. You think the doctors don't actually know this stuff? They know it, but they can't tell it because the system forces them not to. Think about blood sugar issues, cholesterol issues, weight issues. There's billions and billions of dollars of drugs being pushed, but none of them address the root cause. Now, what I'm gonna share with you is from experience. See, over there, I was struggling with blood pressure issues, blood sugar issues, man boobs, the belly fat, I'll struggle to lose weight. I've been able to overcome it and I'm gonna share with you information that's completely changed my life. See, if you're struggling with low energy, you're dealing with skin issues like skin tags and pigmentation, or you just struggle to lose that belly fat like I was, the root cause is not a medication. The root cause is your blood sugar levels and how that goes on to affect your hormones. And your hormones go on to affect all these issues. Now stay with me, this is the most important part. A healthy person's blood sugar is at about one teaspoon in their whole body. That's about the size of one sugar cube. Now, when you eat food, that food increases the sugar that it's in your blood. Now, for example, look at all these breads and how much sugar they turn to in your body. Look at how apple juice turns to almost nine teaspoons of sugar in your body in less than a cup of it. So let's say the food you eat increases your blood sugar by five to 10 teaspoons. Now what your body does to get that blood sugar back to normal is it increases insulin. And one of insulin's main jobs is to control the blood sugar in your body by using it for energy. It also stores the blood sugar in your liver and fat cells. So your body takes that sugar, uses it as energy, stores it for energy later in your liver, muscles, and fat, and now your blood sugar has gone back to normal, which is one teaspoon. Now here's the problem. Your insulin doesn't come down right away. When your insulin levels are high, your body reduces the amount of fat it can burn. So as you can see in this example, your insulin levels are higher, your blood sugar is back to normal, but your body's reduced its fat burning. So you start feeling hungry, tired, your body needs energy, so you eat again. You reach for these common foods that turn to sugar in your bloodstream, your blood sugar levels go back up, and your insulin works to bring it back down. But the problem is, your insulin doesn't get a chance to come back down. And now that becomes your insulin levels new normal, but your blood sugars are still healthy. And what does that new normal insulin look like? You start experiencing all these symptoms here like feeling tired, belly fat, blood pressure, visceral fat, brain fog, skin issues because the insulin is now resistant. Your insulin levels are higher than normal. And people can be insulin resistant for 10 years before developing diabetes. So for 10 years, you could be going to your doctor, your blood sugars are normal, but they never check the insulin levels. Think about that. And you start talking about you're tired, you don't feel right, they put you on antidepressants. You start getting cholesterol problems, they put you on cholesterol drugs. You start getting blood pressure problems, which is actually driven by insulin resistance. They put you on medications that control the blood pressure without addressing the insulin resistance. They tell you to reduce the salt when it was the sugar that caused the whole problem. So you have to address the blood sugar and the insulin. Once you do that, you address the root cause. Now you gotta think about it. Why don't we know the root cause of many things? The system doesn't want you to, because if you figure it out, they lose hundreds of billions of dollars. Remember, follow the money.